in Eyewitness News. Football met at the home of the infamous shin boners, North Melbourne, today to launch the book by the toughest of them all, Captain Blood Jack Dyer. The wild men of football will come out in a series of volumes, the first featuring the likes of Jacko, Mad Dog Muir, Lee Matthews, Darren Mullane, Dermot Brereton and, of course, Dyer himself. Today's launch of the Wild Men of Football would have been enough to make any receiver faint. They were dishing out elbows at the door. The names of the past 60 years that struck fear into the hearts of opposition players were all there. Dodger Ryan, Basher Williams, Hooker Harrison and Gabbo, Grinter and Brereton, Ricky McLean, Kevin Sheedy and Mel Brown, more hitmen than on death row. An account of each of their footballing lives will be chronicled in a series, The Wild Men of Football. Yeah, I do have mixed feelings, but I mean, it all happened. And I mean, we all get tougher and stronger and everything else, I think, as we, uh, as we the longer we're retired. But uh, we're certainly glorifying violence today. It's the only thing I've done that's made me famous. But um, I did owe him one that day. Um, he got me about two minutes earlier. When you did play, did you give him a bit of stick? Oh, yeah. Now and again when they wanted it. it. It is very physical still in, in regards as what it does to your body, but as for the, uh, the manhandling, no, it's not anywhere near what it used to be. Right, gee, in those days when they hit, when they shirt fronted you, you went down, mate, and if you didn't get up, you showed a sign of weakness. As usual, the last words came from Captain Blood, Jack Dyer. First on trial by video. One of those games that girls can't play, although they're getting very near it. <laughs> and if they keep with that video stuff, they'll be bloody here very shortly. And then on how he believes the game should be played. After the match, the team should go into one another's rooms, have a drink, <coughs> no arguments, and just say, next time I'm going to we'll kick your bloody head off. Jack Dyer, well, soccer... If ever a man should bring out a book titled The Wild Men of Football, it's Jack Dyer. And at Arden Street today, a who's who of those wild men gathered to help Jack launch his latest foray into the world of literature. Memories that go back and back and back. It's a, you can still you, you try to live them again, but uh, you live them in other players watching them play the game, and you pick them out, and uh, it gives you great interest in the football. It's something I never... Never ever, because I owed everything I think in life to football. Now 79, Jack has some pretty firm views on where football is headed. But for goodness sake, don't get him started on trial by video. Fancy those fellas who never played the bloody game of their lives, sitting up in judgment on you. It's like that you've got to go out there and sweat and grind and bloody get knocked down and get kicked around the bloody ground. They're sitting up there with a video. Can you sit like that? <laughs> That's a shock. Of course, Captain Blood can think himself lucky. Trial by video was never around when he played. And the reason North Melbourne hosted the launch and not Jack's beloved Richmond, well, it was 62 years ago he played his first game right here at Arden Street. Nowadays, you'll find Jack somewhere in the outer uttering those famous words. And, oh, oh, God, if you don't mind, please, I'm fine. Lou Richards, <laughs> National 9 News. That's a nice way to wrap up sport, Brian. Appointments at the tribunal. They may not have been the most skilled. Some of them may have done things that aren't uh, in, the, in the best uh, interest today of the game, but our game needs characters, and Jack Dyer is one. So here he is in print, the Premiership coach, 300 gamer, media veteran, legend. Some of you fellas and are the ones that made the turnstiles click, in my opinion. The book features the antics of Jacko, Mark Jackson, Demolition Dermy, Dermot Brereton, Remember him running through Essendon's three-quarter time huddle. And Mad Dog Robbie Muir. No book on wild men would be complete without them. Lee Matthews gathered a few scalps in his playing days, doing things his Collingwood players couldn't do now. Yeah, there's a sort of mor a morality and a rule of the day that you have to conform to, and uh, uh, what was bending the rules in our day was absolutely smashing them to smithereens in the modern era, so uh, that's the way things develop. The bloodbath grand final of 1945 saw eight players suspended for a total of 75 weeks. Basher Williams copped 12 weeks for his part. You'd sooner be getting uh, called Basher than you'd be getting called a, a flimsy or pansy, wouldn't you? I'm out of here in one piece. Drew Morfitt, Seven Nightly News. I'll tell you what, Jen, <laughs> nobody pinches. Justice Derek Boland has done it again, sparking outrage with his...